hey on to this so the valve steam deck this thing is great it has a headphone jack nice volume buttons nice and clicky we got um triggers pressure sensitive regular um buttons back buttons and on the front we got um track pads oh and it's actually doing a steam update you have d-pads analog sticks more buttons more analog sticks more track pads more buttons steam button quick access button but do you know what this looks oh it's um, oh it just loaded in didn't even play my startup movie but do you know what this looks awfully similar to the nintendo wii u but we're going to be focusing on the steam deck today all right so we've got the steam deck propped up on my thing so here's what we're going to need first up a USB stick containing Fedora Linux. I dropped it. This little adapter which converts USB to SATA so that we can plug this SSD drive in. We need this little adapter which converts USB-C to a whole lot of things. And yeah, that's pretty much all we need for this episode. So yeah, without further ado, let's just get into it. So first things first, we are going to need to plug in this adapter into the USB port. Turn the camera over. And then plug, that's the wrong way. Then plug in this, this, and this goes in here. If I can find the port, there we go. All right, so I think we're ready. Let's turn off the system shut down and I've gotten into the boot menu before so so now we're gonna get into the boot menu so I believe it's just the volume down button just the volume down button so we hold down the volume down button let go once you hear a okay here we go boot manager so um Olympus light um I don't know I think it's Olympus light Oh, it's, oh, it's the wrong um, orientation. Do we use the D-pad? Yes, we use the D-pad, okay. So we are going to need to flip this in portrait so that you can actually, um, you can actually see it. So I believe it's A to enter. We are going to need to fix the screen orientation because it's right now in, um, in portrait and i don't want it in portrait okay just had to zoom out a little bit so that you see the whole screen anyway let's just um cut to whenever we get something and this is the something that we need okay we got the steam deck all set up it's very bright but i think we can fix that in my camera Okay, there we go we are in um dark mode and oh hey i'm having success with this so far so um yeah i don't want to install fedora i am just using fedora to um go into discs discs um this bilson drive and i need to make an image so um create this image storage and i'm going to name it oh wait how do i get a keyboard i don't oh and the scan lines as well because this is um because my camera is recording in 60 hertz and this is a 90 hertz display so it's um gonna have some scan lines but whatever i need a keyboard okay pulled out the first keyboard i can find now i also need a mouse once again pulled out the first mouse i could find so i am now going to hook that up all right so we got the keyboard if i can pick up the keyboard we got the keyboard and mouse hooked up so now i can actually type so this is going to be um steam deck dot img start creating um i'm going to authenticate error allocating space 
have no space left. Okay, let's see if I can fix that. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. 13 minutes remaining. We are going at um 16 minutes remaining. The speed is going down. Yeah, I always does this when I go when I flash to this drive. Well, this is the only drive I have that is over 500 gigs and not in a computer already. So I think I'm just gonna have to let it do its thing. Okay, so the disc image on the Steam Deck, which is now currently off, is done. And now we have OBS open on this laptop, which is hooked up to a capture card, which is hooked up to the Steam Deck via the same adapter. So yeah, we have the um we have the tripod which I will put this thing in right now. Flip. Okay, sorry about that. I was getting a phone call. But anyway, let's zoom in and let's see if it goes out to this monitor. So I'm going to hold volume down, turn it on. I'm gonna let go. Okay, the Chon Chow um, Chon Chow mouse is oh my What? It's not showing up on there, it's showing up on the screen that display. But it's not showing up on the monitor. Let me see if I did everything properly. Something got unplugged. Okay, we got it working. Yeah, it's just, it was just a fluke, so, oh, whoa, booting up the Steam OS. It's actually booting up the Steam OS. Um, I don't think a keyboard and mouse will be suitable for this, but, yeah, I'm about to, um, hit the cord on this thing, so let's do it in three, two, one. All right, here we go, we are in. We can play Jump. It has to download content. Let me pause it. Alright, it's done downloading whatever it needs to download. And my microphone got knocked over. Alright, is this thing on? Yep, it's working. So we can, um... Okay, yeah. Well, we can run, um, jumps. We can... The mouse sensitivity is extremely, um... 1440 by 900. Oh yeah, this is fine. E, planes one. Oh gosh, the sensitivity is a little bit high, but we can still jump. If we beat the first level, then we're good. All right, yeah, we're good. Exit game. Get out of this game. So now we are going to, wait, control alt delete doesn't work. I'm going to reboot, actually no, I am going to shut down, power shut down, confirm, once it shuts down I'll get back to you. Alright, we're all off, the monitor just said no signal and the um, keyboard just went out, so I'm going to turn it back on and hold down the minus button, then let go. If I did it correctly which I don't think I did but it will boot up into the <coughs> into the boot menu yes I did do this properly so now we're going to boot off of the hard drive the USB hard drive which is just a USB stick and go into um, Windows 11 this one press any key The speaker just made some weird noises. But hey, you were loading up into Windows. While that's loading up, I'm going to look into drivers for this thing. Okay, so it's just some files we need to download. This is fine. So, um, yeah, we are going to um, time and currency format, English world, um, keyboard and input method. This is a... I'm just going to set it to United Kingdom, but... um. Oh, if you're installing Windows 11, please note your files, apps, and settings will be deleted. 
Well, that's not good. I don't want to delete Steam OS. So, I have another idea. Where did I put that USB stick? So, we need the disks program. Here is our disk. Um, what? Resize. Authenticate. I'm going to go free space following. 120 gigs. If I just make it to 120. 120. Um, yeah, resize. Um, authenticate. Repairing file system. Repairing file system. Resizing file system. Okay, it's done. So let's go into this free space. Next use with windows um volume name oh yeah the keyboard doesn't work i'm gonna need to fix that all right we plug the keyboard so this is going to be windows 11 this is only going to be temporary i am going to restore that disk image i made earlier <coughs> so now we have it partitioned i am now going to power it off this is the fedora 41 beta for anyone wondering I agree, I don't have one, we're getting a few things ready, yes this one, I've gone through this installation before, please wait or ask me, where do you want to install Windows, I'll, and I'll point it to that 120 gigabyte partition I made, oh, okay, oh here we go, Um. so Windows 11, here we go, system, primary, primary, unknown, 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 yeah, this is all the Steam Deck stuff. So, um... Yeah, Windows 11, next. Please select the different partition. I'm okay, unallocated space, next. I'm giving it the unallocated... Okay, it's, it's working now. Um, install... Install. We are now installing Windows 11, 1%, 2%, 4%. Okay, so I'm gonna start a time lapse in 3, 2, 1. Okay, how many no's does it take to set up Windows 11? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 no's to set up Windows 11. That is, that is 7 too many. We need everything to be no by default. Anyway, getting things ready for you. Come on. This might take a few minutes. How about this might take nothing here we go we're on the desktop of the user deck i just set it to deck because yeah so yeah we have um windows 11 successfully installed and now i can remove this usb and install drivers ah yes drivers my ow this usb stick is off so i'm probably gonna get the this Wake up my computer and get the drivers or something. Okay, I have the Steam Deck drivers on a USB stick now. I just downloaded them on my main computer and chucked them on this USB. There is a problem with this drive. Ah, uh, sure, scan and... We have no audio drivers, so I'm just going to scan and fix it. And I think I might need to replug the keyboard again. The, the driver's ready to use, okay. Something went wrong and Windows scanned it and we're good. Um, got our keyboard wor working again. So, deck, here we go, deck. So I'm going to extract all of these in here. Um, yeah, I'm gonna just extract these. Extract all, there we go. All right, there we go, we're done. <coughs> yeah, we're done with the Wi-Fi and all the other drivers. Why did I say Wi-Fi? So we are going to um, double click, no. Install, INF default install. The operation completed successfully. 
Okay, so that's installed. The audio driver, I will install this. The operation completed successfully. Audio 2. The operation completed successfully. Um, the, this is a setup executable, so we can, we can just do, so this is the, um, this is the SD card slot. Uh, next. Um, now I can restart my computer later. Uh, uh, here, 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 here. Um, setup information right here. Install. Operation completed successfully. Now this one. Operation completed successfully. Nice. On um, the Wi-Fi driver. Windows 11. Signed drivers. This. Um, setup information. I believe that's it. Um, read. No, I'm just gonna install it. Install. The operation completed successfully. Um, I believe the last one is the graphics driver. Setup. This is the AMD graphics adrenaline edition. Detecting your system configuration for driver and software compatibility. All right, go. Um, install. It's no bit flicker. It just um, it just changed its orientation. Yes, install. It just changed its orientation. Now it's showing up on the Steam Deck screen as well. So what does this um say? I'm I need to actually fix this here. Um, so duplicate these displays. Um, uh, landscape. Um, keep. What? Revert. And change the scaling to 100 just to make this a little bit easier. Um, finish. Now, is this actually feasible with a touch screen? Yeah, this feels okay. Um, now I am going to reboot the thing. So, here, restart. I am now using the Steam Deck screen, Steam Deck touch screen to um, navigate and see how it um see how it feels to use the Steam Deck. We are loading into the thing. Whoa. Okay. The password to the deck user is deck. And here we go. We I just realized we have sound. And we have Wi-Fi. It's um, available. I will now connect. Verifying and connecting. There we go. We are on the we're on the web. Um, start without my data. Continue. Continue without. Continue. Uh, let's go to my um. Dot GitHub. Dot IO. Let's go to my website here. Oh, wow, tech. I missed the E. Whale tech. Here we go. And and let's turn on light mode just to make it a little bit, look a little bit better. Steam. We could actually install Steam on here. We could actually install Steam on here. That would actually be quite funny if we install Steam. Okay, Steam setup. Yes. Um. Next. Um. English install. And now what I'm actually gonna do now is um. Go into display. Extend these displays. Um. Keep changes. So I believe we are good here in this um. In this regard. So. Run Steam. I want to remove the flipping. Um, sure, access my access my location. Oh, and here we go. Okay, we are in. We are in. Come on. Loading user data, and we have Steam open on the Steam on Windows on a Steam Deck. And also, this is probably because we have multiple displays. If I turn off the um. I'm just looking down at the Steam Deck, so show only on two. Um, yes, keep changes. Yeah, now that looks a lot better. Now, can we play a game on here? Let's play, um... Um, mostly playable with your controller. This game is playable, but may show incorrect glyphs or require a keyboard. I am going to try the same game that we tried, um gonna try the same game that we tried in the beginning of the video jumps all right we're done play 
Um, probably it's not going to get anything from Steam Cloud because it doesn't push anything to Steam Cloud. This game. Is it going to do in a window or it's going to do full screen? Oh, it's in a really low resolution. I'm going to need to fix this. Um, this is in, I want this to be in 1920 by 1080. So I guess the last 1920 by 1080 is, um, is a good one. Okay. So, um... Oh, I need to, um... Yeah, it didn't sync anything, so... Here we go. Yep, we are... We are successfully gaming on the Steam Deck. Running Windows. Alright, well, we got the camera out. The Steam button isn't doing anything. Oh, hey, and it placed its little shortcut right here. Oh yeah, this actually feels kind of nice to use. If I were to do a boot on the Steam Deck, I would probably go with um, some sort of Linux distro that I actually have um, control over instead of the immutable thing that SteamOS is. But yeah, we can go into the EFI partition. We can go into what's is recovery.txt. Absolutely nothing. Can I close this window out? There we go. Now I'm going to restart and see if I can, um, let's see if I can do my, um, multi-boot thing. Nope. Turn it off, turn it off, turn it off, turn it off. Alright, turning on. I held the, so I'm, so I should be going into the boot menu now. There we go. So we have Windows Boot Manager and Steam OS. Can I still? Um. Yeah, I think I. Oh no. I think I broke Steam OS. All right. So yeah, I broke Steam OS. I broke Grub. Yes, I know that that it is actually fixable, but I am lazy. Besides, I don't even want Windows on there anyway. So. So now I need GNOME Discs, um, this disc, um, um, yeah, something happened and it, um, completely erased my entire Steam Deck hard drive, but that's fine. We are going to restore the disc image I made, um, here, Drive Backups, Steam Deck. Um, start restoring on the Filson. Yes, yes, yes. Um, authenticate. 28, 29, 28 minutes remaining. Okay, so I think we should just start a time lapse now. All right, it appears to be done. We have all of our partitions back. So yeah, I believe that's it. Let's reboot. I believe this is the last time we will ever have to boot into Fedora Linux on this, on this Steam Deck. Um, okay, come on. Okay, Steam logo. Of Steam Deck logo. Black. No signal. My monitor says no signal, but, um... I heard something. Oh! It's going. We don't have any speakers, unfortunately. Yeah, we have no speakers. So, now what I can do is hook back up the speakers, or hook the speakers back up. Yep, we're good. So, um, as in, we have no speakers. There were no speakers currently hooked up so that you can hear something. You can hear sound, but I can't hear a single thing being outputted. So anyway, I believe 
we are done with the downloading content and let's see if the steam deck actually works at you know playing games okay made with unity kiwi forge um this is the wrong resolution i all right well we got the settings fixed up my gosh this mouse can we do the greatest level ever ever made pine 10 well i hope you enjoyed this video it's currently like 10 p.m so i'm tired if you enjoyed this video leave a like if you have something to say leave a comment and if you want to see more then subscribe and i'll see you in my next upload